Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be right into your June monthly love reading, all right? Someone is definitely thinking about you for the month of June. They're thinking about taking action and communicating with you. Overall energy we have is the two of wands. So it's a delay. Why? We have the two of pentacles here. There's an imbalance for the month of June on this person coming forward, which is why they're in thinking mode. Again, you are currently in separation with this person for a lot of you here. Um, time has been apart. Um, and I feel like this person is focusing on communicating with you, kind of um, feeling hopeless at the moment, wanting to make this new start with you, kind of disappointed. And even if it's not making a new start, they just want to let bygones be bygones here and try to seek your forgiveness. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, but this could be you or them take it how it resonates. We have the page of wands and the nine of wands here. This is a huge burden for you both to release. I feel like you both want to be able to forgive each other and kind of move on and heal from their past. I feel like there's disappointment on both ends on your part. This person feels like they really made a wrong decision that they chose you for someone else, whether that's a financial obligation, a job, family, kids, someone else. They regret that. It's just why they want to communicate here, but they're going back and forth because for some of them Virgos, they are not out of the situation, which is why they just want to come forward and just kind of um, talk. We do have chemistry here. So there's a strong magnetic attraction and we have honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday time of bliss together here. So um, this could even be um, working up to the 4th of July. It doesn't have to be here. But again, like I said, someone is thinking about you. I'm not saying they're, you know, they're coming in to take action. Again, for some of you might get communication, but again, thought process right now, all right? I'm gonna make that clear because there's not clarity for them right now, the Ace of Swords or you. You you, you both don't know where you stand, but when it's time to come forward, it's gonna be very fast here. Because this person knows with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles that, that you don't trust them, Virgos. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you don't trust them. They hurt you really bad. There's that Gemini energy. You feel like this person was the one, but they just didn't take the risk here. And this was just was a major ending. Scorpio energy that needed to happen here. The chemistry, the attraction, you know, is there. The love is there, I feel like. But the separation for some of you had to happen here. We have the page of wands. Yeah, there's that delay again, right? Because remember, we have the two of wands here. And look at that, the two of cups. So two, two, two. Wow, Gemini's reading too. At the, at, at the, <laughs> at the end of Gemini's reading, two, two, two came out and, and totally in a whole different deck here. So, wow. Um, but yeah, you guys are both heartbroken over this separation, Pisces energy. I feel like for both of you, you felt like you were selfish in some ways. They felt like they were selfish in some ways. Like it's mutual here. Definitely could have been a third party in the past. What I'm getting is it's either a child here that they had with someone else that they left you for. Or they were just going out a lot. Wasn't really um, paying you any attention. Kind of put their friends first type thing. You know, love wasn't on their radar. You guys are just having fun. Maybe friends with benefits type energy. They're hesitant to start a new chapter here. And it's kind of like you both feeling at loss with this nine of wands or did I just lose the love of my life? It's like you guys both didn't want to walk away, but the separation was forced to. This was kind of like a karmic guided situation here. And look at that marrying with each other. Again, passion and chemistry is kind of making you want to um, get back together here. But look at the two tens that comes out. Someone is still in a relationship here and married. Like I said, for some, for the month of June, they're going to get out of this relationship. That's why I'm saying it's going to happen in July with the Four of Swords here. You know, when that, enjoy the, the, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Why did I just hold the cards like that? I'm like being awkward. But, um, <laughs> I feel like I just twisted like a ghost or something. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There's unhappiness here, Leo energy. Let me get back to the reading. <laughs> Quite by the star, Aquarius energy, Sagittarius energy as well. Yeah, there's um, balance here. That There's balance that is going to happen in July. But you guys have to get over, both of you, get over the past. You, Virgos, have to get over feeling taken advantage of from this player like energy. This person had issues. It wasn't your fault. There's new love that is trying to come in. For some of you are going to um, reconcile with this person because, you know, it was just an argument, a spat here. You feel like for some of you, you can work this out for some of you here. Clarify the seven of, of swords. Yeah. 
some of you Virgos, you're gonna take this risk with this person. But again, I feel like right now in the month of June, it's just not ready. This person, again, is in thought process here about taking this risk. They still have some things that they need to um, heal here. With the devil and the emperor energy, as you can see, it's not time yet. That's why I was saying like July, the month of June is healing. You guys are both still trying to seek clarity. You guys are both feeling unstable with each other. There might be small communication here, just a check out, like, hey, how you doing? But that's it. You both are still feeling pain. Yeah, I'm still feeling pain over this. Look at the two sixes. Six of swords, six of wands. You guys are both going to see a victory over this. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, communication, like eight weeks, maybe July, again. There's regret, sleepless nights, the person at the still, that still needs to work on. <clears throat> They're battling their own demons at the moment. This could be you too as well. You have to be able to open up emotionally, Virgos. It's going to take some time for some of you here because, you know, you're in separation. You're trying to take a step forward. You're going from the knight to the page of Pentacles. Every time you take a step forward, you take a step back here. But you know in your heart that love is going to come. You're thinking about it, Virgos. Yeah, but again, you have to pour that love into yourself. <clears throat> so like I said, you both are thinking about each other. Libra energy here. Once you start putting this love and healing into yourself is when this connection is going to come back in and again. Balance things out. Now you have 22-22. Cherry energy, Cancer. I think it's just a rough patch for the both of you. I feel like there's love here. You guys definitely have a chance to work it out. Again, this person just needs some um, things that they have some things that they still need to heal from that's stemming like from their childhood that only they can be able to let go and they will to a pentacles and you will too but you have to be able to make that choice and stop being in i feel like virgos if you're feeling emotionally drained it's this person's energy it's not necessarily you like this person's energy is making you kind of frustrated and annoyed and irritated like it's not necessarily your energy so that's why i'm saying to take a step back get in hermit mode and do your own healing embrace your inner child focus on your goals embrace this king of pentacles energy and get out this rut Focus on your business, your career goals. Where do you want to be financially in the next six to nine months? Because the tire moment is coming in that's going to um, shatter everything that you really didn't think you were going to expect. But again, you have to be in this queen of cups energy. You know, get a hold on your emotions here. Forgive and heal the past yourself. And once you do, you're going to experience love in this present moment. And this tire moment that's coming in is a good tire moment. It's going to be good for you. The Ten of Cups is here. But that Ace of Pentacles, you're going to manifest exactly what you want. This marriage is awakening this new life here, but you have to be able to take action and let go of someone from your past here. There's a very new passionate love that's coming in or someone that you're going to reconcile with, all right? So a different, um, kind of two different scenarios I was reading about. I hope you guys kept up with me. Going to get some love oracle cards. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. They can also distort your perception. Exactly. And cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of that resentment. Yep. You have to let go of that anger, that hurt. Because there's a new beginning that's coming forward. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And there's that balance. There's that too, too, too. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it, Virgos. A, gr a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So no Virgos in your relationships. No one is perfect. I'm a Virgo. I know I have to figure that out too. Um... But it's the challenges that you go through and support that you give each other that can turn a long-lasting love. So I feel like for the month of June, there's balance that is still going to be coming in. And there's a new beginning that, that is going to happen for you, Virgos. But you have to be able to embrace these emotions and figure out what makes you happy again. Because this is some heavy-ass energy. Ten of Pentacles are reversed to Ten of Swords. This is heavy, Virgo. So remember, find this balance and get a hold of your emotions. That Queen of Cups, Empress energy. Because your Divine Feminine energy is in reverse. Embrace your Divine Feminine energy right now. All right? For the month of June. I'm going to leave it there, Virgos. And take care. And just saw 1919, angel number. All right. Bye. <laughs>